Hi, I'm Adil Kumar sharing with you some test questions based on lines, gradients and angle relationships. Question number one over here is the slope of a line is double of the slope of other line. If tangents of angle between them is one over three, find the slope of other line. So we are given slope of a line, let us say line 1 slope is m1 slope of the other line let it be m2 we are given slope of a line is double of the slope of the other line so that means m1 is 2 times m2 right that is what we are given if tangents of the angle between them is 1 over 3 so that means what that really means that if I have one line like this, the other one like this, right, and the angle between them is theta, for example, right, the, let's say this is line 1, this is line 2, and the angle between them is tan theta, uh, is theta, then it says the tangents of the angle between them is 1 over 3. So we are saying that tan theta is equal to 1 over 3. Okay? That is given to us find the slope of other lines so m2 is what we need to find okay now angle between lines formula what is the formula you remember the formula is that tan theta is equal to m2 minus m1 over 1 plus m1 m2 right and the sign could be plus or minus right okay so, so tan theta is given to us as 1 by 3. We know the formula. The only unknown is the slope. We know one slope in terms of the other, so we can easily find it out. Perfect. So you can actually pause the video now, answer the question, and then look into my suggestions. So using this particular formula, which is angle between two lines, theta, we are given tan theta as 1 over 3. So I'll write 1 over 3 equals to m2 minus m1 now m1 is 2 times m2 so i'll write m1 as 2 times m2 right so we have here let me write formula first m2 minus m1 over 1 plus m1 m2 right but what we know here is that m1 is 2 times m2 so i could write this as 2 times m2 for m1 okay so we get 1 plus 2 times m2 times m2. Now we can cross multiply. So bringing it here, we get 1 plus 2 times m2 square, right? Equals to 3 times m2 minus 2m2. Well, that gives us 1 plus 2m2 square. m2 minus 2m2 is m2, right? Okay. So it is equals to 3 times m2 with a negative sign. Now we have a quadratic equation right there. We can write this as 2m2 square plus 3m2 plus 1 equals to 0. Now product of 2 sum of 3 we could write this as 2m2 square plus 2m2 plus m2 plus 1 equals to 0. So we can now factor this and find the value of m2, right? So I hope the steps are absolutely clear. Taking 2m2 common, in the first two terms, we get m2 plus 1, and here we already have m2 plus 1, right? Equals to 0. Now m2 plus 1 is common, so we get 2m2, plus 1 equals to 0, right? Think as if this is in a bracket. Now, if I have to make this 0, that means what? That means m2 equals to minus 1 or m2 equals to minus half, right? So these are the two possible values for m2. So that becomes our answer, right? So the answer is m2 is equals to minus 1 or minus half. Is that clear to you? So that is how we are going to find the slope of the other line. The slope of the other line was m2 for us. So I hope that is straightforward. 
Feel free to write your comment, share your views, and if you like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. Now in the series, I have four questions for you. You may look into other solutions also. Thank you and all the best.